everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss optimization. Optimization is about finding where a function will may produce a maximum value or a minimum value. At the end, we'll look at an example that specifically deals with finding the maximum length between two curves. Optimization uses differentiation to find local maxima and minima values. Over here, I've drawn a cubic graph. On this cubic graph for the range I've drawn, you can see that there's a global maximum and a global minimum. But there are also two turning points, and these turning points, the one is a local maximum where the graph changes from increasing to decreasing. And the other turning point is a local minimum where the graph changes from decreasing to increasing. Now on a graph, we've learned to find the values of the turning points or the x values of the turning points, I find the derivative and set that equal to zero. We're going to use the same principle to find any local maxima or minima values. What you need to do is find the derivative of the function and set it equal to zero. Let's look at an example together. In my example, I have f, which is a cubic graph, and g, which is a straight line. pq is the vertical distance between the two graphs. Now, pq could be on the left or the right of the y-axis, but it says that pq is in the position where x is less than 0. So x is less than 0 on the left of the y-axis. So I'm only going to use negative values for x. Let's write down an expression for pq. Now, on the left of the y-axis, g is on top. So I'm going to say g of x minus f of x. Now I can substitute in the values from the equations. Obviously, to work with pq easily, it would make sense to simplify this expression. So I end up with the length of pq being x cubed minus 5x. But I want to know the maximum length of it. So to find a maximum, I always find the derivative and set it equal to zero. So in this case, to find the maximum length of pq, I'm going to take the derivative of pq and set it equal to zero. So the derivative of pq is 3x squared minus 5. And now I solve the equation. Since I've got a square, when I find the square root, I must remember that I could have a positive or negative solution. Since the instruction in the question says that x is less than 0, my only valid answer will be the negative 1. Now the question is asked for the maximum length, and I only have an x value. So in order to find the maximum length, I must use the formula for the maximum length. I'll substitute in the x value that I've found, and then the answer I get, using a calculator clearly, will give me the maximum length of what pq can be. Since it's a distance, I'm going to say my answer in units.